In this video, we will show how to register a new user into the web security system using server-side action scripting in a dialog. We'll start with a simple dialog with three fields. We have a username or user ID field, a password field, and a double entry field for the password. This particular registration form is configured to save all new users into a single default security group. Therefore, there is no selection for the user group displayed. However, if we examine the controls, we will see there are a couple hidden controls in the dialog. A hidden user roles field is defined and will be populated with the identifier for the default user group for new users. A second hidden field named user GUID has been added to hold the security identifier for the new user. A field for this purpose is always required. Note that the field names do not have to follow any special naming syntax to save the values into the security system. In this example, all validation for the security fields will be handled by action scripting in the dialog validate event. Go to the events. The on dialog initialize event is used to set initial values and various controls. In this case, all new users are to be members of the new user group. Therefore, we can use the function displayed to get the group identifier for the new user group and then assign the identifier to the hidden user roles control. The dialog validate event will be used to validate the security values prior to saving. If we scroll down, we can see we have already selected action scripting to validate web security values in this event. We can go up and we can edit this action. And the left column for the genie shows various security values that can be used. This list will vary depending on the specific configuration for web security. For example, if the security system allows recovery of login information and uses a security in question and answer as part of the user authentication for that purpose, options for security question and security answer will be shown. The right column includes drop-downs to select fields from the dialog. The drop-downs show only fields that have not yet been assigned. As we can see, we have not yet assigned a dialog field to the security groups. If we look at the drop-down, we can select the user role control, which is the proper control. Also, some of these values are required. If we do not select a value, for example, for username and we try to save this, we will get an error. It tells us we have not yet selected a variable for that. So we have to specify a, con specify a control for that security value. Click OK and we have now set the action script to validate web security values. If we go to the after dialog validate event where we will save the web security values. We can go up, place the cursor in the event, go up to action scripting, and select save web security values. Enter a name for this action. and This will again open the genie. The genie opens with no field specified. However, since the fields have been specified in another event, we can use the load saved values option to load the selections. So we click the option here, it fills in the genie for us. We can now save the action. This completes the configuration, so let's test the result. Go to Working Preview, and we will type in a username, a password, and a confirmed password. And in this case, we will type in a username, a password, and we will type in an incorrect confirmed password. When we submit, the validate event will determine if there's any problems with the data we have submitted. And for instance, it says the username has white space. We had a space between John and Jones. And we entered the wrong confirmed password. Make the corrections, and we save the data. We have now saved this new user into the web security system. In other videos, we will show how to enter data into another table at the same time we enter a record into security. Another video will show how to find an existing user and edit their security data.